Hi guys, welcome to Tammy Book Lover. Today we're going to talk about Quiet Chaos written by Kitta Kendricks. So now this book is part two of the Chaos series. And the first book was Beautiful Chaos and now we're in Quiet Chaos. This book was unbelievably good. It was so good. If you thought Quiet Chaos was, um, Beautiful Chaos was good, this book was amazing, amazing, amazing. All right, guys, so before I get into the book, it's full of action. It's full of drama. It's full of love. It's full of love, intimacy. It is amazing, guys. I know I use that word a lot. I know. I'm sorry, but I couldn't. There's no other way to, like, explain how good this book is. And the characters are great. The plot is great. The storyline is on point. There's some secrets that come out in this book. There's a lot of drama, a lot of deceit. It was so good. So good, guys. So the characters of this book are Arjen and Mecca. If you remember from Beautiful Chaos, Arjen is Cain's brother, older brother, and Mecca is Desiree's cousin. So... When the book started, they basically um, talk getting ready for Mecca and Arjun's wedding. And that's really like how it started. They were getting ready for the wedding. They had a lot of, um, they, 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 they knew it was an unconventional way of being married because they were promised to each other to flourish or to join two, um, you say organization to make one powerful organization and they were coming together with two boss mecca is a boss and Arjen's a boss and they were joined their family together let me tell you their marriage as i said is unconventional but they had an underlying feelings for each other especially Arjen. Arjen really like he was feeling mecca but mecca was on her boss ish and she just didn't want to deal with it she's like listen this is what it is i know what it is i'm gonna do me you're gonna do you and we're just gonna keep it together but do each other you know so that's what it is if you remember in beautiful chaos she had told desiree that um she's just gonna um have the marriage for face sakes and just find her her man her her mandingo as she call him and um arjun is just going to be there to save face you know so she already had in her mind what she wanted however that's not what happened i am i love it so much so when they got married there was a kiss and that kiss was like the spark that they both needed but mecca ignored she like she had nothing she didn't want nothing to do with it so she was like nope you're not the man for me i'm just gonna let it go there was a situation in the book where mecca basically was in um she had a lot of stuff going on and she's taking over a lot of um a lot of baggage in the organization and she's trying to make amends Arjen could save her, but because of the person she is and everything that she went through, she's like, no, I could do this. So she's like, okay, I'm going to come up with a plan. I could do this. I could do that. And I could find some money to like basically solve the situation. I think, in my opinion, she should have went to Arjen, even though I understand her point as being strong, independent, and... um. And hard head and all that stuff. I really think she should have went to Arjun because she didn't have enough time to um went to him sooner. She did go to him eventually, but she should have went to him sooner because she didn't have enough time to come up with the money that she needed to solve the issue. And he was there. But she really don't know his network either. She just kept on saying that um i could figure this i could figure this out but eventually when she went to him he said oh okay no problem whatever you want and he just basically went with her to like cuddle her cuddle her whatever the word is and like to agree with her and say okay no problem whatever you want and when she called the other people and said oh i have this and we'll get it to you it's like oh it was already taken care of she's like what like yeah it was already taken care of and that was it and then she's like in her back of her mind, she's like, he did this. I really wonder his net worth. And I'm like, you don't know your husband net worth. Like, what is going on? So I was like, okay. And that was just one situation in the book where I thought that she should have went with him sooner. Anyway, the book 
um, story continued. They started to learn about each other more. They started to basically fall in love with each other. And it was so nice, so intimate, so rich. But behind that, they had a lot of deceit going on. They had a, pe a lot of people that's behind their back, like they can't trust them. And then the secrets, oh my gosh, the secrets that came out, you're like, what in the world? I can't believe that this is really happening. Like this, this, it shouldn't be happening. I'm like, no way. Right? So when the secret came out and they finally found out what's going on, I'm like, nah, it wasn't right. It was not right. And then the most touching part of this entire book was when Mecca and Arjem both confessed their backstory of how they were treated when they were younger, the situations that they went through, their emotions. Let me tell you, no one have any idea the situation that these two characters went through and they are so so strong today like they had so much going on so they were they were so they were they were hurt so much that i am i am surprised how strong they are i'm not gonna lie to you because a lot of people would have given up a lot of people wouldn't want nothing to do with it. a lot of people would have been dead to tell the truth so it it it, it was crazy and it was like touching that 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 scene it's not a scene but it's multiple scenes because they don't tell it they didn't confess their secret at the same time it was bits um bits by bits piece by piece and it was really good i love that was the most emotional scene um in the book when they both confessed their past and it just kept on growing after that their relationship got stronger the um the intimacy got stronger the action just just coming and coming. They were there protecting each other. Mecca, however, was still hard head. She still wanted to do her own thing. She still was like, I'm the boss. I'm going to do me and I'm going to protect me. I understand that you're my husband and you're there for me, but let me do this on my own. And we are, I mean, we hard head at times, but I, I get what she was trying to do. So I didn't fault her for that too much, but overall, she basically humbled herself towards the end of the book and um, let Arjen be her shoulder, her rescuer. And they, it was really good. Um, the book was action-packed, guys. It was it, it was never a dull moment in this book. Never. Everything was on point. The story flowed. Everything was good. Kita did an amazing, amazing job with this book, guys. I really think you guys will check, should check it out. You will love it. Beautiful. I keep on saying beautiful. Quiet Chaos. Mecca and Arjen Story. Check it out, guys. I really think you guys will love it. Thanks for watching. Bye.